comedy. But my question was, do you think that some comedians' comedy uh, suffers because they are doing so many podcasts? Because I do feel like that, like... What, what, uh, That's sorry. not prayer. Because no. <laughs> uh, I do feel like that, you know, it's a little different now with, like, comedians being so... Uh, out in front now really? all the time. I think it's done nothing but help at least good comics. Well, that's what I'm saying. With other good comics. I think a lot of the comics that people know about are more mainstream comics. And some of them are really good. There's like your Bill Burrs and then younger people, you know, you've got. But it's like also to a lot of people, like what they know about com- like comedians is like Brendan Schaub and like Brian Callen. Like in certain people's world, like. They're not into comedy and music. They're more into like sports and Peep other characters. shit, you know, like so to them, that is what comedy is. So right. I think <laughs> and I think a lot of those a lot of the comedians that are really famous don't necessarily have the best podcast. Some of them do. You know, Joe Rogan's a comedian. He has a good podcast. Bill Burr had one. Again, he's a good example of that. Uh, Dave he... Attell can do stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Uh, but not Marin. everybody is Marin. Mark Marin. Yeah, yeah, that's a great example. But not everybody can do that. Yeah, like that. I agree. Yeah, like not all stand-up comedians are good on a podcast. It seems like some of the people are really good on the podcast, and they try to flip that into the oh, people that were non-stand-up. People? Yeah, even if they were stand-ups, but they weren't really great at stand-up. And they yeah. and like when we were last time I was in LA when we watched the comedy shows, everybody went up there was talking mm-hmm. about their podcasts, and like there was people in the audience that were like cheering because oh, they had wow. seen the podcast and they're like yeah how many guys heard about what's what uh kevin's such and such like yeah you know so like the audience is kind of melding from like here just wanting to yeah. see them stand on the stage you know like from podcast yeah. and they were all pretty bad because they kind of tried to do what is just podcast banter yeah as stand-up uh, and I'll, they were terrible <laughs> i'll say by exper- positive experiences with Comedians have podcasting them live. Yeah. The fact that they're on a podcast is something they don't even mention and maybe at the end mention it because they're publicist or somebody. Got like, you. you need to, yeah. like, you know, like those are the best comedians. It's like, oh, and by the way, I do this. Yeah. You know, also like big, like, like, sorry, the, the like big J. Like, yeah. You, big J yeah. is like that. Um, there's a Mike Rainey was another guy that was, that, that came through town he was good and he did, he's on a podcast and, Stavros was on Come Town, but like you know, those guys don't even talk about it when they're on. But they you know. got um, like the if your examples, not your examples, of our examples are the people who got those big Netflix deals, right? Yes. So Stavros, he got he has one, yeah. And you know, oh Matt Reif because he went mm-hmm. uh, viral, viral yeah. doing uh, crowd work, so yeah. he has a crowd work special. Yeah. You know, but I don't know. I feel like but Matt, I think like they Matt Reif need is it. a good comedian. Yeah. Though. Like sometimes there's situations like him. Where they had a couple good moments, but they don't have the fortitude to continue producing material. Right. Yeah, uh, I think com- comedians kind of need them now. It's kind of a, it's kind of a go hand in hand. You got to tell it kind of replaced going on morning radio. I mean, I yes. mean, assuming yeah, you yeah. still go on morning radio, depending on like what town you're in, you might still need not, to hit it. Maybe, but like nobody really. Well, I mean, if, you're, if you're hitting the funny bone morning- in, in Richmond, you should probably hit. One of those radio stations, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Marlon so. Wayans doesn't have a podcast, you know. He, he definitely still does like yeah. that that circuit, yeah, you know, the news circuit and morning radio and stuff. Yeah, I mean Shane Shane Gillis, I think he's a great example because I think he's such a strong comedian that he can do um, offshoots podcasts, like you know yeah. his yeah. he's got the shit with uh, what Matt and Shane or whatever, yeah, and mm-hmm. Tony Heathcliff. And then and then he can show up on other people's podcasts and still have he's material. He's a great guest. He, he's a great. He's a great. He's guest also part of and, like the, yeah. the Joe Rogan crew, though. Yeah. You know, with like Mark Norman and Ari Shafir and and he's all those dudes. I haven't really checked out Mark Norman's um, stand up, uh, oh, but he's like, great. He's but he's great. I mean, he's great yeah. on podcasts. Joe List stuff. is another guy that is in that crew. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, Anthony Jeselnik, I think he, mm-hmm. yeah, he still has. Does he's he still kind of an elder statesman he's... now. Yeah, you know, he was yeah, he like is. the young hot shot. I'll say whatever, and now he's like talks all grizzled, you know, <laughs> shit. Yeah, he's, he's like talking, speaking the truth. Well, he's been around. But yeah, he's speaking the truth now. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, he, there's a lot of good comedians around. He's, he's now. one. It's a good moment for them. Yeah, he's one that you would have expected to parlay that into a some kind of big. 
TV career kind of thing. Uh, yeah, because I, I mean, he has. We had it. He had a TV show. <laughs> it just didn't go as well as he thought. I mean, he had like kind of like a da- not like a Daily Show, but kind of like a Daily Show, kind of like ridiculousness. On, or something. Was that on a so com- Comedy Central? It wasn't. You know, it was like a late night show, and then it was like he had a desk and he was interviewing people. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> It was he had like a long. late night show for a while. It wasn't for very long, you oh. know. And I, but I, I mean, I just just thinking about him, I'm like, man. I mean, it seemed like he would have broken out into whatever. Um, but he's kind of hung in there and just been like a dope stand up. But I do think he was he on uh, Harlan Williams podcast or with one of the other because I, I just I saw a clip of those two together. Oh, and that I don't shit know. was that shit was hilarious. Yeah, I think that was his. I think that was uh, Anthony, uh, Justin Nick's podcast. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, well, that just something I was just thinking off the top because, like, you know, it kind of surprises me that Joe Rogan's comedy hasn't like gotten better or whatever at this point. You know, he's like because he's he works with like Chappelle like all the time. It's yeah. like two different muscles. But you know you what? Know? I think Joe Rogan, Joe, I think Joe Rogan, <laughs> I think he has gotten better at comedy from you think now, so nowadays compared to where he came from. I think. But you haven't seen the, you haven't seen the new one yet. No? I, but I've seen very old Joe Rogan. You've seen okay, yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah. got better. Yeah, over the years. So okay. I don't know what's happened in the past, maybe three or four years with him. But 